Today I'll show you the easiest free tools to create WooCommerce order emails like this, which looks premium and has all the features. We will also see how to add a recommended product section and when someone clicks on it, they will be redirected to the product page. You can get all of this by using just one free plugin. So without wasting any time, on the WordPress dashboard, click on plugins, add new plugin and then look for WooCommerce email template. Scroll down a bit and here it is. Then head to WooCommerce, settings and click on emails. Here you'll see various types of emails for different purposes such as new order, field order, etc. For this tutorial, I'll edit this template. One piece of advice during the customization, make sure you keep saving the draft because it does not have an autosave feature to save changes every few minutes. So let's start by changing the logo. I'll click on it, delete it, and from the left sidebar, drag the image component and drop it here. Now select the logo image from here. This is too big, so I'll go here and change the size to this. I don't need some of these elements, so I'll remove them like this. Next, I want to place my confirmation message here. So to do that, drag the one column layout and drop it here like this. For adding text, go to components and drag the text element here. You can edit the text from here. To edit it, click on it. And from the left, you can increase the size or edit your text here. So I'll go ahead and increase the size like this and make it bold like this. Next, I'll repeat the same process to add another text element below it. Cool. Now let's change the background color. So to do that, select the column and you can change the color from here. I'll copy the color code and apply the same background color for the other two columns like this. The text are not visible, so click on it. Select the text and change the color from here. I'll repeat the same steps for the other one. Next, I'll add a CTA button here, which will redirect buyers to the shop page. So from the left, I'll drag this button, give it some alignment, fix the alignment like this, change the color from here, set the font weight, and from here, I'll change the text. To add your site's link, simply paste it here and it will redirect you to that page. I'll position the button and place it here like this. There's some gap between these two elements. So let me reduce the margins of the button from here like this. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now let's move on to the next step. Now, before we add our order details, let's give this part a heading on the left and a text with order number on the right. To do that, select the two column layout, drag and drop it here like this. Now, Add a text element to the left side column and edit the text from here. Okay, I'll do the same thing for the right side column. Drag the text widget here and from the left, change the text to this. Then go to short code and select this. Let me align the text to the right side and increase its size to this. Next, you can see that the product images are taking up too much space. So, I'll reduce the size from here like this. Now I want to add the subtotal of the current order. To do this, go to components, drag the order subtotal element and drop it here. Now it will automatically calculate the total amount of the order. For aesthetics, let me add a divider here like this. 
Next, I want to show the recommended product section below the order details to bring them back to our site and check out other products. It's a good way to bring back customers and also increase the chances of impulse buying. To do this, I'll add a text element here, change the text to this, increase its size, make it bolder and align it to the center like this. Awesome. Now I want to display three recommended products here. So go to components, drag the three column layout and drop it here. To add the images, simply drag the image element and drop it on the first column. And from here, select the product image you want to display. Using the same steps, I'll add the other two images as well. Now, to make these images more functional, we can add product links so that when the buyer clicks on an image, it redirects them to the product page. So, I'll go to my website, copy the link of this product, come back and paste it here. I'll repeat the same step for other two as well. Also, don't forget to click on update and save the changes. Now let's place an order from the website store and check if it works. I'll select this product, add it to the cart and quickly place the order. It's done. Let's check if we have received the confirmation email. I'll go to my inbox, open my email and here it is. You can see the exact design we created and it looks great. If I click on this product, it redirects me to its page. And if I click on this button, it takes me to my shop's page website. Awesome, everything looks fine to me. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.